It's not, a, it's not an NPC, that's a stone. You have to wait for the top 10 Dark Souls stones. No, no, no I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing it. it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hi guys, Indy Mouse here, and welcome to my most requested video of all time. I kid you not, Top 10 Dark Souls Stones. Actually, there is another really requested video, but we're not going to mention that here because people are getting worried. People are getting <laughs> restless about that one. But let's move on quickly before they notice. I don't know how I'm going to keep this plane up in the air. It's going to crash, no doubt, throughout this video. I can't even think of 10 rocks or stones right now. But you know what? I like myself a challenge. Let's jump into this. Let me know <laughs> below what your Top 10 Dark Souls rocks are fuck me coming in at number 10 is the uh, there's a little rock lizards from dark souls 3 i'm gonna count them as a rock because frankly who the fuck cares at this point the reason they're so low in the list is because they're little cunts i mean they're a rock and at this point that's all it takes to get onto this list they're found in dragon peak so whenever you head there watch out for these little fellas these guys really suck and that's why they're at the bottom of the list and you're damn right that this list is ordered one through ten Oh, I did 10, not 5. Oh, no. I should have done top 5. I fucked up, guys. Coming in at number 9, if you're still watching, I'm very sorry. Is Oh, shit, there's actually a knight. I'm sorry, I'm doing the research as I go here. Giant Stone Knight. They're um, along the route to Moonlight Butterfly near the crest of Artorias door. Holy shit, I didn't think I'd actually get anything for this list, but there's a giant stone knight. I mean, they're not technically rocks or stones, but... It's right there in the name, and you know what, if I can put the same cat on the top 5 Dark Souls cats, I can put this guy in here. Uh, it's, you know, it's actually a thing, so I don't really need to explain why it's on this list, but there you go, Jack, Dark, fuck, Giant Stone Knight, welcome to the list, buddy, really happy to have you here. So number 8, uh, this should have been a top 5, I'm deeply regretting it right now. This rock right here, I know technically it's a statue, but you know what, I'm pretty sure it's made out of rock. This lovely lady holding a baby, and you know what? That's cool with me, baby. This is a great rock. This rocks like these really brought the rocks forward in the gaming industry, and we wouldn't be anywhere without them. Coming at number seven, we're getting into the real good ones now. Uh, this one's a little more subtle than the previous ones. I don't even remember what the first one was. I couldn't tell you. Um, but this one is this rock here. He thought he'd be sneaky and wouldn't get noticed. But don't worry, you gotta worry, you gotta be think about the little fellas sometimes. And this little rock here in Phylink Shrine from the original Dark Souls. What a beaut. She really adds a little bit of depth into the game. She's got a little leaf friends there. <sighs> Alright, I can't do this anymore. We're gonna go over to Sunlight Blade, live in Dark Souls. Please, man, you've you've gotta have a rock for me. What's your favorite Dark Souls stone? Save me from this. <laughs> so, you're on the hunt for the best stone in all the lands. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> the best stone is a prism stone. Look how shiny it is. So vibrant. So pure. <laughs> oh, it seems to me it's enough to make a man sick. Uh, thanks for that sunlight blade. I see this is a... Uh gotten to you as well um i think i'll take it from here thanks for the input though prism stone there you go everybody all right <laughs> uh, all the all of these rocks in majora i couldn't only pick one because frankly they all look the same to me that is rockest <laughs> i don't know whether i'll keep that in all right uh just all of them they're just all great <laughs> they're all just good rocks uh this one you know i like this one a lot this, indeed, just all of these are just pretty great. <laughs> Rockest. Uh, God damn it. Alright, we're getting into the top five now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, coming in at number five is the small white soapstone. 
This is the one um, from Dark Souls 2. It, it allows you to put down your summon sign, of course. Except this time, if you get summoned, it's for a limited amount of time. And it's like, the, the sign's like really small. It's like a little baby sign. I mean, obviously it's not as good as the normal size stone, but it got me through some of the real hardships of the game. Ah, uh, Dark Souls 2 wasn't hard. What the fuck am I talking about? Coming in number four, the Red Eye Orb. I know technically it's an orb. Uh, I don't know if you count this as a stone, but if you don't, you can put the red soapstone here instead. So this will be a spot for both of those. Allows you to invade other worlds infinitely, and it's just great. Um, as for the red soapstone, you can put your sign down and people can summon you and you can fight him. Uh, PvP, one of the reasons Dark Souls has such uh, longevity as a game, so you're gonna thank it out on the red eye orb. This, this, uh, number four got a little bit serious. This is, it's an orb, but you know what? It looks like a big red rock, so shove it. Number three, this is, now we're getting into the good stuff. I actually had to think about these three. Uh, third favorite rock in Dark Souls. If I could be a rock in Dark Souls, who would I want to be? Well, that's easy. You know the answer. It'd be the rock that, uh, the Emerald Herald is sitting on. Oh God, that's crazy. Just move, shut up. So everybody, move to number two. What's the, uh, orange? Orange soapstone. Oh, that's the one that... Oh, cool. Uh, so the orange soapstone coming in at number two here allows you to write messages on the ground and uh, write up messages. Where would we be without all the Dark Souls messages? It's, some of them are so good. Like with the, um, you have like a dead guy or a skeleton leaning over a wall and it's like tight spot ahead or beanpole <laughs> quiet ahead. Those ones got me every time. Uh, we wouldn't have don't give up skeleton. Just classic Dark Souls lines here. Classic. Are they memes? Is that a meme now? I don't know. Great stuff. Orange soapstone wouldn't be anywhere without it. I love you, Orange Soapstone. The greatest rock in Dark Souls, of course, is Havel himself. Havel the Rock. What a character. When you saw this list, you know he had to be coming. I'm on his wiki right now, look at these strategies to beat him. You got like the standard duel with a backstab strategy. Dung Pie strategy. You always got something new with Havel. If you want to learn about the Dung Pie strategy, go check out the wiki. I'm gonna click it right now. Throw a few Dung Pies at him and leave the tower to be safe. Go make a sandwich and return for your ring. What a strategy. Uh, Havel the Rock, welcome to the list buddy. Um, thanks for the ring. I like your weapon. You're a cool dude. And there it is everybody, the top 10 Dark Souls stones. You guys asked for it because I made a huge mistake in mentioning it at all. So thank you for that, I do appreciate it. Remember to leave a comment down below what you want to see in the next top list. It can't be worse than this. And uh, leave your top 10 uh, Dark Souls stone. Now that this nightmare is over, I can actually go work on some good videos like the top 10 Dark Souls 3 enemies, Dark Souls 3 bosses. I'm pumped to do those. Thank you again to all my Patreon supporters supporting me while I make content like this. What a world we live in. And I'll see you ladies and gentlemen next time with another fantastic video like this.